Okay, this is a little video which I'm making to try and show the workings of a miner's flame safety lamp. Now this isn't actually a miner's lamp, this is a wolf protector which was used by the post office uh, for use in culverts and things like that. Now it, has, it does have a twin gauze which is in this top section here. I can get it apart. There's one, two gauzes in there and there's a, a felt washer to seal it in there. To be quite honest, seeing as this is all removable, I'm not entirely sure whether it will be um, legally allowed in something like a coal mine. The other reason being that in order to light it, you have to take the bottom off like that. As a normal miner's lamp, you actually light it using an external, uh, internal lighter. Just go and light this. Adjust the flame height, that's way too high. So I think we need to take it down. To about that sort of height. Which is about six to eight millimetres. Okay. Right, this is my testing box. It's approximately 50 litres. It's basically a cardboard box, in blue, true Blue Peter style, made with sticky back plastic and uh, sellotape. Um, we have a tube here, which allows me to put the gas in. There's a little vent at the top here, and there's a door on the side to let me put the light in. Uh, it doesn't have to be airtight. All we're trying to do is to show the effect of the gases as you would encounter them in an enclosed space. Okay, so I said the box here is about 50 litres, which means that if I put a 2 litre bottle of air in or whatever else, it'll be a 4% solution, a 4% concentration. Um, I hope you can see what's happening. The, uh, there's a bit of a reflection. We've seen a reflection off the back of the of the um, glass of the lamp as well as distortion through the uh, cling film which I've used to put on the front. Anyway, in this bag I have here about 60 litres or 80 litres, it's an 80 litre bin bag of air that I have breathed out. So according to Wikipedia the concentration of oxygen in this bag should now be about 16 to 17 percent and about 4 percent CO2. So if we put this bag around the neck of here, something like this, and then we bag into there. You can see that the light of the flame is definitely decreasing. There we go, now that there is about, as I said, 16% CO2, 16% uh, oxygen and about 4% CO2. And as you can see, the flame height has halved, certainly decreased to quite some quite considerable extent. Now, 16% oxygen and 4% CO2, that's what you breathe out. It is survivable, obviously, because that's what you use when you're doing mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation. But you wouldn't want to run around in that sort of atmosphere for very long. Um, so there we go, that's the low oxygen test. Okay, as we can see, 
the light has now returned to its normal height so we're now free to carry on with the next test I have here three two litre bottles which I filled up with methane oops which I filled up with methane from our stove uh, well natural gas is basically methane according to, again according to Wikipedia the explosive concentration of methane in air is about between 5 and 17 percent so if this is a two litre bottle I'm putting into there that will give me a concentration of 4 percent methane in there two bottles 8 percent three bottles 12 percent it's not entirely accurate because I won't be able to get all the methane out of the bottle into the uh, enclosure but we'll give it a go and see what happens Strongly, I think you can see that the flame height is rising. Okay, so, as you can see, the flame height has now increased somewhat. That should be somewhere in the region of about a 10 to 12 percent concentration of methane in there now. The flame height has increased. And it almost looks like it's detaching from the bottom of the uh, wick. It smells quite strongly of gas in here now. As we can see, the light has now decreased back to its flame has now decreased back to its normal height, and that should conclude the test.